Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a quick overview of the new Spiral Beam functionality, which is available in Tech Structures version 2017i. A little while ago, I created a video showing the new Spiral Staircase extension. This is using a collection of tools from the new bent plate tools that have been created in recent versions. And what this allows you to do is to easily model in a spiral staircase. Uh, you can model in the treads and the stringers. But over here, currently on the stringer tab, it only has the option to put in plate stringers. So a lot of people recently have been asking, how would we go about modeling in, uh, for example, like a channel or an HSS stringer? Well, now that version 2017i is out, we can come in and show this new spiral beam command. So this is available out of the box. It's not an extension, and it's a brand new modeling command that allows us to go in and model in any profile from the profile catalog, but it keeps the profile from twisting and allows you to keep the web vertical to the, the axis that it's defined in. So if I zoom in here at this location, I'll just show you what we're trying to solve or to achieve here. So I have this plate stringer that's been modeled in and we want to keep the web vertical of the members that we're going to model in. And so I just put in this rod just to show us uh, where the vertical direction is. So in the past, what some people would try and do is they would try and model this in using our polybeam command. And so I'll just put one of these in just to show you the, uh, the challenges that they would come into with that. So I'll just pick the three points around this curve. And then I'll come in here and put in a chamfer on this member so that we can get the uh, radius there. All right. And then if we take a look down here, you can see that this profile begins to twist over on itself. So it's not vertical to the plate or to this rod that I put in down there at the bottom. And then it's even more dramatic up here at the top. So what we're trying to achieve is we want to get this profile to twist uh, so that it's vertical to this shape here. So using this new spiral beam command, we can do that. So I'll just go ahead and activate this command. And then I can come in and I can control these settings uh, using the new properties pane over here on the side pane. So here, this is all the normal stuff within Tecla. You can set the name. Um, here, like I said, you can open up the profile catalog and choose any profile that you want. I'm going to focus primarily on the channel and HSS members that complete this spiral stair, but you have access to any of these shapes. Uh, the normal settings within Tecla property dialog boxes that you're used to. And then we can come in here and set the rotation angle and the total rise. So that's one of the things that's new here with this modeling command. So what I'll do is I'll just come in here and pick my start position and then I'll pick the center point here and then I'll just choose that I want to rotate this around the axis here and that will model in my new channel. So if we zoom in here and take a look here, this is the uh, channel that I just modeled in, the spiral beam, and then this is the poly beam. So you can see the difference between the poly beam and the spiral beam. And we'll take a look at the plan view here in a minute so you can see um, that this is lining up correctly. And then you can see the difference up here at the top as well that it's not twisting over like this poly beam did. So if I go to a plan view here and look, just look down on this and set this to transparent, you can see this is that vertical piece that I modeled in and this is the back of the web of that uh, channel that's vertical to the z-axis or that direction that I set. And then of course here's that poly beam that's twisted. And then same thing down here at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, poly beam just so we can see more clearly. And there you have that um, lining up there at the bottom. So that's using a channel. Uh, another common thing for these spiral stairs is an HSS member. So I'll just go ahead and load in the HSS shape here and then activate my command. And then again, same thing. I'm just going to pick my start point, my center point, and then the middle mouse button to rotate that around my current Z axis. And then if we zoom in and take a look at this, we can see there that that's um, vertical there, just like we defined to that plane. And then same thing over here up at the top, if I rotate this around, we can take a look and see that it's staying there, okay? And so modeling this uh, is good, but of course we need to be able to build or fabricate from this. So a lot of people need these uh, drawings to be unfolded. So if I come in and select this member here, I'm just gonna create a single part drawing of this piece just to show you that we can get the unfolded drawing of this. 
So this is a drawing of that HSS member uh, unfolded. What I'm doing here in my settings, just under view on the attributes tab, is we have an option to show this unfolded or not. So if I set that to no, this is going to show me what that's like there within the model. So if I needed to create, create a top view of this and dimension the radius, I could do that. And then if I just want to get the unfolded length, I can do that also just by switching this um, and get that proper information so that we can build these pieces there in the shop. So. As I mentioned, this is the new spiral beam command, which is available in Tackle Structures version 2017i. We'd encourage you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.